And joining us on the special broadcast is Penpa Sering. Penpa Sering is the former speaker of the Tibetan Parliament in exile. He's been elected the new president of the exile government, and he's joining us on Republic TV uh, for the first time. Penpa Sering, congratulations first of all, and thank you for speaking to Republic TV. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. What are the, what, what are the immediate challenges that uh, you have in front of you, Penpa? The reason why we are in exile is because of the Chinese occupation of Tibet. And uh, the first priority is, of course, to reach out to the Chinese government to resolve the Tibet Sino-Tibet Sino conflict. That is the first priority, uh, as always. Yeah. And we've been uh, reporting relentlessly in the last one year especially, there has been uh, so much of a movement worldwide with Tibetans around the world you know, demonstrating more than ever before on the need for the Tibetan struggle to reach some conclusion. Now, how do you plan to take that struggle forward? I'm sorry, the, uh, the screen is uh, going on and off. I couldn't hear your whole issue, your yeah. whole question. My question to you, Mr. Sering, was about the Tibetan struggle. We've seen increased demonstrations across the world for the Tibetan community to also get global attention and, and also mobilize in, in your struggle against China. Now, how do you plan to take that struggle forward? Uh, as long as the as long as a lasting solution to the Tibet issue is not found, and as long as the Chinese government does not uh, address the real aspiration of the Tibetan people, uh, the Chinese government cannot wish the Tibetan issue away. So the Tibetans will keep fighting for it, and this will go on. Yeah. Now there is a there is also a demand for for a, a Tibet advocacy group with Tibetans living across the world. So. You're the new leader. How do you plan to mobilize this cause? We have a lot of potential. Uh, you know the Tibetan diaspora is only about 130,000 uh, people. Yes. But uh, now uh, many more Tibetans are going out to uh, the Western countries, and we have Tibetans in more than 25 countries. They have become citizens in those countries. They speak the language. They understand the politics of that country. And these potential uh, to, uh, of Tibetan youngsters should be mobilized. And that is why I intend to start a Tibet advocacy group, a volunteer group of Tibetans to advocate for Tibet worldwide. And this will uh, multiply uh, our efforts in uh, uh, reaching out to governments and parliaments and media and think tanks around the world. Yeah. Now, the, glo the, the Chinese narrative has been, you know, around your election, has been that nothing is going to change. It's status quo. And I'm reading from some of the headlines in the Chinese media, saying that the newly elected Tibetan government in exile will not change its independent stance. How do you respond to these reports? Obviously, uh, they're being the mouthpiece for the government in China. This public posture has always been maintained by the Chinese government. And uh, uh, what has been mentioned is not from the president's office or from the foreign office. Uh, it is by the former uh, United Workfront Department's head and uh, scholars, academicians. Uh, the, I don't consider that as the uh, official position of the Chinese government. If, they, uh, if the Chinese government think that the Tibetan issue cannot be resolved, should not be resolved, then they should let us know. Then we will act accordingly. Yeah. They're also talking about a, a possible internal conflict in the Dalai Lama group. How do you respond to such reports coming in from China? Well, we practice democracy, and within democracy, there are always differences of opinion, and that's allowed. Uh, in communist China, you don't uh, have democracy, you don't have freedom of expression, so they find it rather uh, uh, weird that uh, the, the Tibetan community has, di di uh, uh, has division within its ranks and files. But uh, as far as uh, we are concerned, Every time there is an election, just like in any other democracy, there is division or differences of opinion. But when it comes to the cause of Tibet, we are one. Are you in touch with uh, the Chinese administration now? Uh, you are quoted as saying that you will work towards 
resuming the negotiations between your government and China to re resolve the, uh, the Sino-Tibet issue? Yeah, there will be uh, back uh, 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 uh avenues to reach out to the Chinese government, I'm sure, because the Chinese government also doesn't want interference from third parties. So we'll reach out directly to the Chinese government. I'll have to assess uh, what has been done so far and what are the contacts so far, and also explore uh, various means and uh, ways to reach out to the Chinese government. That uh, And the media has also played a very important role. I'm sure what I have been saying over the last uh, one week, 10 days, yes. has been heard in the Chinese government. And that's why you, you have the response in the Global Times. Yes, certainly. Certainly you can expect a response because they watch uh, very closely and they watch, hear and observe very closely whatever is said, especially on Republic TV. Now, are you, you're sounding much more confident uh, than the previous regime about a possible breakthrough. Am I reading that correctly? I have always, and we have, we have to be positive. There is no other way. Uh, that is why uh, Tibetans have a saying: uh, prepare for the worst and hope for the best. And that is what we have to do, and will keep doing. Because Chinese government cannot uh, just ignore the Tibetan issue. As far as we are concerned, it has been 60 years, 70 years since China occupied Tibet. But the spirit of the Tibetans inside Tibet has not died. They are very strong. And Tibet, even though we are very small in number, because of the leadership of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and the spirit of the Tibetans outside Tibet also, the Tibetan issue continues to be uh, a global issue. Therefore, uh, uh, we will continue to uh, have an optimistic view and uh, uh, hope for the best. But we'll prepare for the worst yeah. when it comes to that. Yeah. On, on the very contentious issue of the succession of His Holiness the Dalai Lama, now, what are your thoughts on, on Chinese interference and Chinese observations and influence on such an issue? They, they, they seem to want to have a say on it. China is a communist country. They don't believe in uh, religion. And uh, reincarnation is a purely Tibetan Buddhist concept. If they want to be involved in the... Uh, a process of reincarnation, recognition of reincarnation, then I have always been saying that they should learn Buddhism first. Uh, unless they learn Buddhism and uh, uh, accept the concept of life after death, uh, China will have, uh, China cannot have any role in the recognition of reincarnation. And particularly, His Holiness said, uh, it, is, it is His Holiness the Dalai Lama who is going to be reincarnated. And it's his... Uh, uh, consciousness that will be in the new body. So it is up to His Holiness, not the Chinese government or anybody else, and he has mentioned it many times, that he will be born in a free world. Uh, so communist China cannot have a hand in religious matters. Yeah. The U.S. has congratulated you on, on your victory in the elections. How closely will, will your administration work with America on, on the Tibetan struggle? Oh, uh, the U.S. has been very supportive over the last three decades. Uh, and uh, we, we really look forward to working with the U.S. government and also the Indian government and also work with all like-minded countries who believe in freedom, in democracy, and all the values that are uh, part of the free world. So we'll reach out to not just the United States and India, but also to all other countries that uh, practice democracy and has the values that we, we also cherish. I'll take one last question from you, uh, Mr. Penpa Sering. How closely are you working with Taiwan? Uh, we did uh, uh, receive a congratulation letter from the uh, Foreign Minister of Taiwan. I did receive one. I have not replied to, to them officially, but uh, that is a very good uh, uh, sign from the Taiwanese government. And uh, we really look forward to working with the Taiwanese government as to how to take our issues forward. Mr. Penpa Sering, congratulations once again and all the very best in your fights and struggles and we are with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Sering. Thank you.